Hi folks, Canadian Prepper here. So today we're going to talk about one of the most practical and functional EDC items that darn near every survivalist and prepper should own and wear at least for half the day. So let's get to it. All right, so the Paracord Belt is not only one of the most versatile EDC items that you can have on you at all times, it's also one of the most inconspicuous. It's one of the most functional. And the thing is, you're going to be carrying this weight on your person in the form of a leather belt or something else like that anyways. So why not have 100 feet of paracord on you that can carry 550 pounds at all times? I mean, it's a no brainer. Why somebody would overlook this, aside maybe for the purpose of vanity, and you know maybe you work in a managerial position and you have to dress a certain way okay i understand that but otherwise there's no excuse not to have a paracord belt and be wearing it whenever possible because you're going to hold up your pants with something it might as well be 100 feet of paracord or 800 feet of cordage that's contained within the paracord now this is from wazoo survival i'm not saying that this is the best one but Wazoo is renowned for their ability to put a lot of stuff into a small space. That's their specialty. So in addition to getting a paracord belt with this, you're getting uh, survival supplies that are stored within the head here. And I'll quickly read off what kind of supplies you get in there. So you get, of course, your paracord. You get 30 inches of stainless braided seven strand wire. So that's going to be for your snaring. You get 30 feet of 50 pound fishing line. You get two safety pins, two split shot sinkers for fishing, two bait holder, fishing hooks, a ferro rod. You get one scraper that's contained on this loop that the belt buckle goes through. And you get approximately 10 inches of fire cord. If you don't know, fire cord is a highly flammable cord. So anyways, you get a lot of other things besides the paracord itself. Now Wazoo Survival does have a more modest, uh, inconspicuous looking belt for the urban commuter, which has a bunch of survival supplies in it. It doubles as a money belt. It's TSA approved. I'll post a link to that here if you wanna look into that. Personally, if it doesn't have paracord on it, I don't want it. There's a lot of those other belts which double as toe straps. For me, what, what am I gonna do with that in the wilderness? I mean, really, if I wanted a belt that I could use to tow stuff. I would just get a tow strap from the store and make my own. You know, if I wanted to carry 6,000 pounds or something, I don't want to carry 6,000 pounds. I want 100 feet of cordage on me at all times that I can break down to 800 feet. So if I want to make whatever, a shelter, a fishing net, if I want to make a bow and arrow, a bow drill, if I want to tie something together, lash something together, I have all of that capability within this belt which I otherwise this space is going to be taken up anyways the weight is going to be taken up so why not have it functional this is what I'm talking about with function over fashion now I've worn a paracord belt for many years Wazoo sent me these belts and I say these belts because I have another one right here which I've broken in a bit and that's the great thing about paracord is that once you break it in it's a lot more organic so over time it's gonna break in nicely and I really enjoy this belt I've made my own belts before I embarked on one little experiment where I you, many of you who've been around for a couple of years remember my EDC survival belt I had everything in that belt from salt to water tablets to a bow saw yes I had a fully functional bow saw within there I had fishing line I even had a flashlight in there it was it was pretty ridiculous I still have the belt I only use it occasionally if I'm going on a extended wilderness outing or something like that but honestly this is probably going to be my practical go-to now for both urban and rural use it's just it's lightweight it doesn't weigh any more than a normal belt except it's functional so it's a no-brainer honestly if I could get a shirt made out of paracord I'd probably wear it there is actually a guy on YouTube who made a backpack out of paracord maybe that's pushing that okay but still you know if you could have this there's no excuse not to have this 
if you're uh, if you're one of us if you're a prepper so anyways i just thought i would share that with you i'm going to do a more in-depth edc video but this is something that absolutely ever pre every prepper should have on them at all times i'm going to post a link in the description to the wazoo survival site i'm not saying that you have to get this one in particular this is probably one of the most reliable and well made in terms of getting a lot of stuff into a small space which you're never even going to know is there until you really need it there are a lot of other options out there for paracord belts you can make your own paracord belt it's not that flipping hard to do there's a variety of different designs there's 10,000 channels on youtube if you want to just go and buy 100 feet of paracord and you have a few hours probably three to four hours to spare to do it right there's so many options so get yourself a belt which is multi-purpose everything should be multi-purpose force multiplier you want something which can perform more than one function if you have it on you at all times uh, you could probably even augment this in other ways if you wanted to you could maybe throw a compass on there or something like that so let me know what you guys think in the comments and let me know what kind of belt you would recommend if there's anything new that's hit the market as of late that perhaps uh, I don't know about yet that'd be great because I still think this concept could be improved one of the ways I'll quickly say how I think it could be improved is this buckle here I think more could be done with this to to make this more functional right now it's just a metal buckle very reliable metal buckle which may serve some function in in and of itself uh, just being a durable piece of metal but I think that maybe they could go to the drawing board with this and give us a bit more bang for our buck here somehow maybe that would involve making a, a an actual buckle with a compartment here or something like that if they could do it in such a way which uh, you know was was out of the way still then that would be great anyways let me know what you think thanks for watching Canadian Prepper out check out the Canadian Preppers Network blog an excellent resource for survivalists and preppers